beer. Welcome back to another episode of Most Michigan Beer Reviews. I'm your host, James. It is uh, early October, probably the end of the first week of October. And um, I apologize for not regularly uploading content for my subscribers or viewers. Um, and I apologize for the last couple of episodes being non-Michigan beers. So I'm coming, I'm coming back. Here's Michigan beer. It's called Dr. Thrill Ride by Shorts. And yeah, I have not reviewed or bought a Shorts beer in about a month or so. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. I'm not sure. I don't keep track of that. But nothing has seemed to, uh, you know, entice me. Nothing sounded good. There was the um, Soft Parade Shandy. I did not buy that. I did not want to try that. I don't know what came out before that or after that, but um, none of that enticed me either. So I found this single. I was like, what the hell? You know, it's been a while. Let's do a short spear. Let's do a Michigan beer. And um, yeah, so Dr. Thrill Ride. Let's take a look at the label art. Here it is. Dr. Thrill Ride. We have a crazy mad scientist here um, with some chikorita in a cage behind him, and he's got a blowtorch, and his hair's going crazy. He's getting electrocuted. It's it's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Um, he's got some tattoos here, and there's some hidden shorts logos in there and stuff. But yeah, it is a porter brewed with coffee and vanilla. Twisting minds and breaking spines. Very interesting. Very interesting cartoony, I guess. Um, bottle cap. I cannot see a bottled on date on here yet. So if I remember, I will check and see for you. And that was the label art for Dr. Thrill Ride. Sounds like a porn star name. Hey, baby. You want to take a ride on my Dr. Thrill ride? No, no, no. Anyway, let's read what uh, we have here from the Schwartz Brewing Company. Dr. Thrill ride is a porter brewed with coffee and vanilla. Is it vanilla bean, vanilla extract? What is it? This beer is a deep brown color and pours with a frothy mocha head. Or in my case, a canned foam or a Coca-Cola canned foam. Well-balanced aromas and flavors of fresh coffee, chocolate, and a hint of vanilla abound from this brew. Dr. Thr Thrill Ride is medium-bodied and easy drinking. We'll see about that. There's only been 423 ratings on Untapped. Two of my friends have had it. I'm uh, taking a cue here from you, Brad. I'm sorry. Uh, Allison's had it. She gave it a 3.5, and Brad Allison has had it. He gave it a 4.25, and he says his review is coming out soon. I don't know what I'm going to give it, because I haven't even tasted it. But, uh, it is 5% ABV. Bing! Maybe. If it shows up good there. And 35 IBU. So, yes, that's very easy drinking, I would say. Low alcohol, low IBU, American Porter. Yeah, I'm wearing glasses today, um, because I can. It's the thrill of the ride. I'm not a doctor. Pour it like you love it. Whoa. Look at that. It just stopped over the cusp. That's not a perfect pour. I don't know what it is. Turn this logo around for you. That is a two finger mocha colored foam, as they say. That's not actually Coca Cola colored. I'd say that is a brown, tannish brown foam, two finger head. It is a dark, dark brown color. There's a little bit of amber around the bottom. Little hue, little hue. My extra neighbor used to be named here. Uh, did you see that? 
Let's give it a little whiff. Smells robust, like a porter should. Nice dark malt. Mm. Little hint of dark chocolate. Some dark fruits I'm getting for sure. Uh, I don't know if I'm really getting coffee. It's more like a raisinette, so like the dark fruit and chocolate mixed. Maybe a hint of vanilla if I, you know, I'm programmed to think that, but I'm not getting vanilla. So I'm going in. Cheers. Back to Thrill Ride. Hopefully it's a thrill and hopefully it's a ride. First thing I notice is the mouthfeel is very thin. Very thin. Second thing I notice is coffee. Hi. I'm getting lots of coffee here. Um, subtle chocolate notes but it's like a watered down coffee with chocolate notes and there's like a little weird sour tang to it too I don't know what that is I don't can't quite put my finger on it um, I like the coffee it's like drinking a black coffee with a little hint of chocolate that's not bad. I know th uh, porters are not supposed to be thick, right? So I shouldn't be complaining about that, but the thinness and the lack of other malts uh, are making it seem watery and less flavorful to me. There's not a lot of flavor here. For Dr. Thrill Ride. Um, their Cup of Joe Porter is 100 times better than this, let me tell you. So I'm going to rate it right now. I don't even need to finish this beer. Um, Dr. Thrill Ride. A porter brewed with coffee and vanilla. I get no vanilla whatsoever. I'm going to give it a 2.75. It's, it's just not something I would drink again. I mean, I, I like coffee in my beers. I don't like coffee in my coffee. Um, it's just there's something lacking here for my preference. But if you like porters, you like coffee, beers, um, please go try this. Don't take my opinion for it. You know, we all have different tastes, different taste buds, um, different programming, um, different experiences. So. Please go try it. Um, 2.75 out of 5. And as always, please watch, subscribe, and vibe safely. Pink. Until next time, cheers. Come on and take a free ride.